All right, we got some news for you here today. A new event called Heart of the Storm is coming, and they just dropped this blog post this morning. So as part of our upcoming content release from May 10th to June 9th, and later this year for console, a special event looms. This new event will give an opportunity to drive back the Terrans and claim an epic reward, the Kamarke Visionary Ground Set. Read more to find out about this event and its rewards. I'll say up front, this is not part of the event campaign. So if the only events you care about are for event campaign, you're totally safe to skip this one. It is a ground-based reward. Some people don't care about that, so you might want to skip it for that reason. Let's go ahead and take a look. Event progress, it's a 20-day event, so you'll need to get 20 days worth of progress. And then it's the usual stuff where uh, you can get the scaling dilithium starting at 8,000 if you continue to do it after the uh, you've already gotten your 20 daily progress. And of course, there will be a Zen buyout uh, if you just want to buy the thing out or you need to finish it early or whatever. So you do have a pretty good choice of things you can participate in. You've got four Terran-based uh, TFO or episodes, Firewall, Red Shift, two new ones, Blue Shift and The Calling. Then you've got four choices of TFO. You can do Operation Wolf, Lupiter Erratus, Forged in Fire, which is also new, and Counterpoint. So we're getting three new things to do, two episodes and one new TFO. And I will be doing review videos for all three of those, so stay tuned for those in the future. We do get a picture of what the ground set's going to look like here, but not really uh, the, the weapons in action or any of that stuff, so we're just going to have to use our imaginations, but they do give us some descriptions down here. The, the Kamarke Visionary Ground Set. Little is known about the Kamarke of the Mirror Universe, and that is frightening. Uh, Mirror Universe Kamarke must be incredibly evil if we know anything about Mirror Universe counterparts because they tend to be the uh, opposite version of you, and they, because most of the characters we follow are good guys, they tend to be evil. Kumarke is one of the most uh, innocent and nice and sweet uh, characters in the whole game. So her Mirror Universe counterpart has got to be like the most evil person in the Mirror <laughs> Universe. So God knows what um, she gets up to. Her technology is at once impressive and distressing, soft-spoken and megalom <laughs> megalomaniacal. The lightning weapon is capable of significant electrical damage and restores the user's shields and deals bonus damage when used on low health foes. Even more potential is stored in the tertiary attack, a shockwave which converts the user's shields into electric damage for a dramatic bonus to kit performance for the user's next kit module, or Symphony of Lightning, which is a uh, bonus. It's a three-piece bonus. The armor contains an array of backup capacitors able to restore full power to the personal shield generator at a moment's notice. And I think that's a pretty neat effect just in general. Being able to replenish your shields is one of the most powerful effects you can have on the ground for survival. And uh, so yeah, I think that's going to be a pretty useful effect, especially when you combine with the tertiary which drains your shields. So you drain your shields to get the effect. Then you use this to uh, bring them back up again, should be pretty good. The PSG itself, when its shields fall in combat, automatically deploys a drone to provide a vulnerability field around the user for a brief period of time. I don't know what PSG is supposed to mean. I feel like this was not edited well. Up here it just says the lightning weapon. We don't get the name of it. What is the PSG? Is that the weapon? Is that the shield? Is that the armor? I don't know. Well, when its shields fall in combat, automatically deploys a drone that provides an invulnerability field around the user for a brief period of time. That's a pretty good effect. Lastly, the set contains a kit module which deploys the same drone in a more aggressive role, dealing electrical damage over time to nearby foes with bonus damage for enemies with high remaining health. So it does sound like a pretty powerful uh, setup here. I would guess, because it doesn't say explicitly that you get a weapon, you get an armor, you get a shield, and you get a kit module, but it doesn't say that 100%. The machinations only become more dire when combined, so here's our set bonuses. There's a two-piece, three-piece, and four-piece set bonus. You can get the two-piece, gives you kit performance, health based on uh, shield capacity, and then 
when your shields are full in combat drains 25 percent of current shield capacity to provide you some kit performance for your next module or symphony of lightning symphony of lightning is the name of the three piece marks up to eight foes in a cone in front of the user strikes a random marked foe with lightning several times plus an additional number of times based on kit performance foes struck repeatedly take slightly reduced damage per additional bolt so it's just gonna fire a bunch of bolts at somebody you got the four piece here power overwhelming more kit performance more bonus health more bonus kit performance it's one of those four pieces that just makes all the other stuff bet a little bit better uh, this is a special event for our next content drop and not part of the event campaign we hope you enjoy this special event captains and we'll see you in the game so if you don't care about anything other than event campaign events you can probably skip it if you don't care about ground stuff at all, you can probably skip it. This is just sort of an isolated thing where you can get this ground set if you want to. You don't have to. I will be reviewing this ground set, of course. And uh, yeah, so do I think it's going to be pretty good? Well, if you don't already have some powerful account-wide reclaimable stuff for your ground, I think this would probably be pretty good because you can reclaim it on new characters and stuff like that. I really enjoy the uh, gorilla armor and all that kind of stuff that we got in the past. I may not use it every day on my main character, but it's really nice to put on other characters or bridge officers. That's another question that really isn't answered here. Can this go on bridge officers? I don't know. If you can put it on your bridge officers, that would be pretty good as well, but I could see them maybe not allowing you to do that. So. Yeah, I think this is probably worth getting if you do any kind of amount of ground content or if you plan on leveling up a new character or anything like that, it's probably worth going after. Anyway, that's the news. Uh, so look out for that on May 10th on PC. We'll have to find out more about console. Take care of yourselves. As always, a special thank you to my channel members. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.